Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. So yesterday I received an email from the GNOME Foundation inviting me to install GNOME OS. I had some questions. You probably have some questions too, so let's get into it. So you guys probably heard the news already that GNOME 3.38 is out, codenamed Orbis. It incorporates almost 30,000 changes made by approximately 901 contributors. It also has a pretty great promotional video to go alongside it. But I want to talk about GNOME OS. What the heck is it? So let me kick this off by reading a portion of the email that I received yesterday. As a valuable member of the open source journalist community, we want to give you the opportunity to test drive GNOME 3.38 and have the ability to write informative articles for your readers. One of the many differences in this release is that now we are able to generate images that we hope will be useful for debugging and test driving features in the future. We are looking forward to a better experience for developers, journalists, and everyone interested in following the development of GNOME. And then there's a list of instructions, uh, which include installing the very latest version of GNOME boxes from Flathub and downloading a two gigabyte image that is titled GNOME OS Installer. Now, I don't want to get too far into this video without telling you guys this is not your traditional Linux distribution. It's not it's not something like a KDE Neon. Um, and, and I'm going to read you the rest of this email so that I can explain this a bit better. Going forward, we hope that providing these images will be part of the release process to provide journalists, app and extension developers an opportunity to check out the latest platform. One other note about the virtual machine. The VM is built from sources and is not a derivative of any distribution. That means that there is no package manager for which you can install applications. This is an interesting initiative though, and I, I really like it. So let's fire this up and see what it looks like. So I've got GNOME boxes installed, and this is version 3.38. It is, according to the developers, the only version that you'll be able to test drive this, uh, this GNOME OS 3.38 on. I've already downloaded the image, so we're just going to create a virtual machine. Select operating system image file and choose this one right here. And it's automatically suggesting 2.9 gigs of our system RAM. So we're just going to hit create. This is interesting here. It looks like in the future, you might be able to do some direct comparisons between the, uh, the newest version of GNOME and previous versions. That's kind of cool. So we are just going to install this real quick. And this is like a no nonsense installer. Uh, they said it's repurposed from endless OS. Yes, let's start using GNOME OS. So a lot of distributions have their own welcome tour of sorts when you hit that first boot. And now it looks like GNOME itself is going to have one. So let's just start this tour and see what we have to look forward to. Okay, so it's introducing us to the activities, launcher, search to type, which we just do like this, search to type. Click the time to see notifications, yep. View system information and settings. Yep. Use software to find and install apps. Yep. So this is looking <laughs> essentially like Fedora right now. Ah, that's a nice little screen. We hope you enjoy GNOME OS. So one of the new features in GNOME 3.38 is the ability to rearrange this grid, all of your apps that are in this grid. So very simple to just rearrange now. Let's pop extensions into utilities and let's put settings in there as well. And can we combine? Ah, yes, we sure can. So can I make like a new folder? I don't know how this works. Uh, first time using it. Okay, let's do like media, sound and video. Hey, nice. Okay, let's move this up here. Right there, okay. So yeah, as you can see, uh, very, very easy to just rearrange all this stuff. Oh, this is interesting. A GNOME OS update with new features and fixes. Okay. It looks like the screenshot utility has also been refreshed a bit. This is a much, uh, much cleaner and, and more polished way to select your capture area. I like this. Now I'm using this, this GNOME OS VM uh, only a few hours after it has been released. And it looks like some of these packages are, are either not quite caught up 
to 3.38 yet or just haven't been released. The Games app received some new features as well, but this is only version 3.37.9, so not quite there yet. But the bottom line here is I really appreciate what the GNOME developers are doing here with this initiative. Releasing this pure, 100% pure, complete GNOME desktop package for, uh, for developers and for translators and contributors and journalists and content creators to, to check out everything and evaluate in kind of a, a sandboxed environment like this. I'm rather fond of this explanation for the existence of this GNOME OS virtual machine. We are a big project with too many moving parts, and it is rare when somebody is able to run a complete up-to-date setup with the whole GNOME desktop. With this automated, now we are able to detect integration problems between applications early on. We are also able to have something handy for designers, docs, and translation folks to work with. Props to the GNOME guys and girls, and it'll be really interesting to track how this develops going forward. For now, uh, enjoy GNOME 3.38 and enjoy your Linux journey. Until we chat again, take care and take care of each other. Bye.